Hey guys, welcome back for another video from Ludi Bros Entertainment. Little bro Logan's right here. Got my big bro, Lamar. How you doing, bro? Yeah, I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? I'm great. Let's get on to let's get on with this vid. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. Let's do it. All right, all right. So we got Star Wars The Clone Wars, season seven, episode nine, the beginning of the Siege of Mandalore arc. All right, bro. What were your first impressions of this episode? You know what? I love the way that I'm going to talk about something that we haven't really talked about so much, the animation. I love the animation. I love the smoothness. I love the fluidity of the animation. If you look back at the first season of Clone Wars, or even if you look back at the Star Wars, the Clone Wars movie, you can see just how far the animation has come. I mean, it's almost like you sit down to watch it and you feel like when you're watching this, especially this episode after we're coming off of the last four episodes of the Ahsoka Tano arc, when you sit down to watch this, you feel like you're watching an extension of the movie, if not a movie itself. And I, I love that. I love the animation. I love the detail, the finest detail. Their clothing is kind of like moving and flowing on them better than ever before. That's one of my biggest takeaways um, heading into this new story arc. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. You know, from right off the beginning, you know, uh, you know, they're putting everybody uh, in their in their episode three places. Basically, mm -hmm. you got you got Ala Secura on Felucia. You got uh, Plo Koon, um, I think Kato Nomoya, and then you have General Grievous. General Grievous looks scary. I don't know. Yeah, you, you know, look be better than he was uh, in the previous seasons. He looked like yeah. really scary in his new look, and I'm, it's a shame we didn't get you know more more episodes like they did an episode where he's invading Coruscant and whatnot mm -hmm. but um uh yeah you know everyone's in there getting in their places you got Anakin and starting off with Anakin and Obi-Wan on uh, another planet uh mm -hmm. fighting off a separatist attack and then we get uh they get news that Ahsoka's coming back and I thought that was really tight what about you mm -hmm. no no I loved it too um I like seeing the dynamic between Anakin and Ahsoka um, they have a good, they built up a good strong relationship over the course of the whole Clone, Clone Wars series. Um, and like I said, harkening back to the movie, the Clone Wars movie, and, and coming through full circle to now, it's really cool to see the dynamic between um, Master and Apprentice. And something that we don't ever really talk about is Anakin Skywalker being a Master, um, yeah. uh, you know, having an Apprentice. Uh, when you rewind time and you rewind back to, you know, even after the events of uh, Revenge of the Sith, once that movie came out, we still had never known if he'd ever had an apprentice. So to see him have one, work with the Padawan for an extended period of time, and then now, you know, he, he's the master and she's left the order and all the stuff that's come out from it. This is just really awesome to see, um, to see this development of the character. So what do you think about the dynamic between um, Anakin and Ahsoka, you know, coming in, coming into this episode? You know, it was, it was good. And, you know, you see when Anakin, you know, sees her um, both as a hologram and when she comes on the ship, you know, he just wants to, you know, like, you know, see how she's doing, what she's been doing, like catch up with her, but her being, you know, showing more, um, a little more maturity that there are other things going on uh, that they don't really have time to talk right now. And, you know, you can see Anakin, you know, he felt kind of sad and down like that, you know, she didn't really want to, or he felt, I wouldn't say that uh, she didn't want to talk to him, but there are other things going on. Mm -hmm. And it was nice that when um, um, they'd finished discussing, uh, you know, her, their plans and Obi-Wan went to go uh, talk to the council that, you know, they had that little moment uh, between them with uh, yeah, sure. the clones mm -hmm. and um, then her giving back their, uh, her, his, uh, or her lightsabers. Mm -hmm. with a different color what like speak did you like do you like that our lightsabers are blue now uh yeah i do like it i do like it because it shows the connection between the two of them i mean his lightsaber was blue now she's got the blue lightsabers you know it shows the connection between master and apprentice and um and, and i also like the fact that the clones you know that's the 501st right there and, yeah. and they're showing her the respect and they you know painted their helmets to resemble her and they, they couldn't wait to show her that because she'd fought along the alongside them for so long. Mm -hmm. So I really do like, I feel like Ahsoka, I mean, she's a fan favorite character. Uh, she's one of the fan favorite characters and that's why they're doing her the service of the way that they are in this first episode um, of this, you know, it's gonna be an awesome part, you know, it's gonna be a, definitely an awesome oh, yeah. part. Um, my favorite part of the episode was actually, 
I believe it was at the end of the episode when she's there on Mandalore. And then she's down, I believe, I believe she's down in the um, sewer, and then who comes walking down the tunnel? Darth Maul. No. Darth Maul comes walking down the tunnel, yeah. and he's you know he's looking for he's looking for Kenobi, and he's like, yeah. "Why are you here?" That was yeah. that was awesome. That was I had to rewind weird. that on. I was watching on Disney Plus. I rewound it a couple times to see him say that over and over again because that was an awesome that was an awesome part. That was my favorite part of the episode. Yeah, you know uh, that when they you know started their little landing. And I just love the clone. My favorite part of Clone Wars is just this, their battles across, you know, with the clones and the Jedi fighting off against the droids. Um, but this time it's against the the uh, Maul Syndicate Mandalorians. It was it was really cool. I love like when they when the, the invasion happened. You know, they got the clones in their new helmets. Ahsoka, we get to see Ahsoka back in action, jumping off from ships. You know, uh, it was just an awesome awesome episode to start off this arc. And, you know, they cliffhang you at the end with her getting surrounded and then you mm-hmm. see Darth Maul. It's just like, wow. All mm-hmm. right. So I, and it's just, it starts to make you think, you know, I wonder what they're going to do, like, with Darth Maul and Ahsoka. And this whole and it's, uh, this whole arc is like, we, we know Order 66 is coming. Mm-hmm. As the wheels start turning and you start to think and, you know, just wonder what's going to happen next. Yeah. I mean, my main takeaway from that, especially like you just jogged my memory a little bit right now, but my main takeaway from that is that, and I've been saying it kind of through this whole review series that we've been doing, is that there's so much going on in the galaxy at large. When, you know, when I'm watching the movies, as I've watched them over the years, I'm always wondering, you know, well, who's doing what at other places while these events are going on? Like, I know this aspect of it. I can see this aspect of it. But what's going on over here? And that's what I'm loving with this uh, Clone Wars series is like, now not only did you, you know, if you're not watching these extra extra pieces of media from Star Wars, in your mind, you're thinking that Darth Maul died way back in episode one. In actuality, he didn't. And there's so many storylines that came out from that, culminating uh, for at least this partial part of his story, culminating here with him and Ahsoka. And when mm-hmm. you think back to that first Clone Wars movie, the first animated movie, and then watching the events unfold from out of there, that's another storyline culminating here. And that's why I liked in that trailer when they, when Darth Maul's talking to Ahsoka and he's like, all the decisions you've made have led you to this point. It's cool to see that. It's cool to see the development of these characters and they're powerful, you know, they're powerful force users. And and there's more than just, it's like, there's more than just the characters that we were introduced to in the movies. That's yeah, that's yeah. my main takeaway that I'm getting at, is that there's more to Star Wars than just the characters that we saw in the movies. And this is an awesome way to highlight and showcase uh, those characters. So I, I'm just really excited to get into this next episode now that we've seen Maul come strolling up uh, uh, to yeah. see what's gonna go on between him and Ahsoka. Me too, me too. Thank you. Um, so, I mean, my only, my only, my only thing, and I've said it before, it should have been stretched out to where we have, we have the season Mandalore, but vice versa, we see uh, General Grievous is invading Coruscant, capturing the um, the Chancellor. And I know there's a there's another 2003 animated uh, animated film yeah. where they show that, which is cool, yeah. and like we should have, we should have. Uh, we should have seen it from, you know, Dave Filoni's, they could have did a lot, a really good job with that. I know he could have done a really good job with that. Mm-hmm. And we could have seen Grievous at least one more time before yeah. he's got to go uh, go up against Obi-Wan Kenobi on Utapau. Mm-hmm. Well, my hope, my, my, my sincere hope is that they go ahead, and even though this is the final season of Clone Wars, tell the stories again from other people's viewpoints. Give, give us the invasion of Coruscant. Give us some stuff that's going on on some of the planets. Let us see Ayla Secura. Let us see what she's doing on Felucia, you know, leading up to, I mean, we know how it ends, but let yeah. us see what was going on before that. I mean, the war was still going on in all these places. Um, but it's not like the robot army just shut down until it was finally, you know, told to shut down by the emperor. It's not like it happened just, you know, while, while there's events taking place in those spots. But I would love to see uh, Ki Adi Mundi. I would love to see Ayla Secure. I would love to see that stuff if, if they could go ahead and do that in animated form because it's not going to happen on the big screen. So do it in animated form. I mean, this is wonderful. Like I said in this video, sitting down to watch this, I feel like I'm sitting down to see a movie. I'm telling yeah. everybody, sit down, be quiet. We're turning off the lights and we're watching this thing and we're paying, you know, really close attention to it. So that was, you know, an awesome. This is an awesome way to start off this final story arc. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. Well, hey, 
You heard it from us? Yeah, you heard it from us? This is a big way. This is a big way to pick it up, especially coming off of the Ahsoka Tano uh, story arc. This is a big way to pick it up and get that, get everything going back the way that it should be uh, for this final season of Clone Wars. Well, all right, I'm gonna get us up out of here today. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. The Looty Bros give this one two big thumbs up. We love it and we are looking forward to the next review, especially seeing how Darth Maul is gonna be doing, what he's gonna be doing with Ahsoka, all right? So thank you guys for tuning in and we will see you guys next time.